everybody, it's Ann Kaplan from Mom Me and Ann Kaplan Childbirth Services and I'm super pumped to share with you something that people have been asking me to talk about for weeks, which is screen time. And you might think at first, why on earth am I talking about screen time in the same week that I've themed Harmony, Family Harmony Week? Well, it's because everybody who asked me to talk about screen time asked me to talk about it in the context of constantly fighting about screen time, arguing with your kids about screen time, trying to get your kids to stop fighting, blah, blah, blah. And I want to share with you guys a really big revelation that I had around screens with our family that might seem kind of crazy at first, but it's actually, just trust me on this. So, um... So I used to use screen time whenever I needed me time, whether it was for like getting work done or I just needed to take a nap or whatever. I would kind of, especially during the time of day when I cook dinner, I would like kind of save up my kids screen time for when I wanted them to, you know, leave me alone basically. And, um, but what was happening was it started out just being like when the kids were really little, like everybody gets one hour of screen time and we take turns on who's going to pick the show and everybody watches the same show. But as the kids got older and we got more screens in our house with smartphones and tablets and laptops and stuff like that, the kids all wanted to watch different things. You know, Elijah is 13. Do you think he really wants to watch Dora the Explorer? No. And so what would happen was everybody was in different areas of the house watching their own thing on their own screen. It was super creepy. But what was also happening was that the kids would start fighting about screen time. Like, well, I want to use the iPad because it has this game on it. Well, I don't want to watch TV because then I don't get to pick my show or the internet's really slow on this computer I don't want to watch Netflix on the you know blah 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 and I was spending so much of my time dealing with like UN level negotiations about the screens in our house and at the same time I was noticing that in our home in general totally apart from screens the kids were fighting constantly with each other everyone was like really grouchy and on edge and I was seeing things like people neglecting their chores rushing through things not doing their homework all that stuff because all they cared about was getting to screens and we have like really elaborate screen time rules. We would talk about screens with the kids. We would, you know, threaten them about screens, but we never really took screen time away completely because I mean, to be honest, like we were too scared, like, oh my God, if I don't have this like one hour where the kids are like zombies in front of the screen every day, what am I going to do? Like, I need that hour. That's my time. And, but it got to such a point where I was just like, I'm so sick of talking about screens. I'm so sick of listening to people fight about screens and whine at me about screens and badger me about screens and beg me for screens. I was just like, that's it. You guys have lost screen time for two weeks. And um, I can't even tell you the transformation that happened in our family. And I'm going to talk about that in more in depth on Sunday in the tele seminar. But what I want to tell you guys, just a few tips today about screen time, just to give you all just something that you can implement like right now is first of all, the most helpful thing for me in understanding what was going on in our family was that I started thinking about screens as a really toxic and dangerous and highly addictive drug. And it might sound a little bit dramatic, but think about how your kids act around screens and maybe they don't do this for you. And if so, just shut up because uh, I hate you. No, I'm just kidding. But um, the way my kids act around screens is just like it's like heroin. Like they are hateful and so self selfish all they want is their drug they'll do anything to get it they'll miss things not take care of the responsibilities that hurt the people they love they'll scream they'll yell they'll behave in horrible ways just like a drug addict just to get their screens and then screens are also not only addictive but in our family they're also super toxic so they also affect my kids outside of the time that we're actually watching screens or talking about screens or fighting about screens or whatever it affects everything like the complete harmony of our home is totally disrupted by screens and I really didn't fully understand that until 
um, I took the screens away. So what I will say is the first tip is really start thinking about um, screens as an addictive drug that is really, really poisoning your kids because it is. And I give the analogy to Mike when the kids are starting to act really bad, it's almost always when they're getting too much screen time. And I say all the time, like we can't be giving our kids heroin and then getting mad at them when they act like strung out heroin addicts. Like we're poisoning them and they're getting up Set when they act sick and their behavior is almost instantaneously changed when the screen time changes so that's tip one tip two is um, at least in our family we don't have screens at all during the week and I actually took down off of our wall and I'll put a picture of this that's not backwards for you guys but these are our screen time rules and um, we made these together with the kids so just like I said on Tuesday, involve your family in making your um, rules and consequences. We all sat down and made these screen time rules together. And one of the biggest things that was hugely helpful for me was taking away screen time during the week. Because what happened was the kids would like, okay, the weather starts getting nice, it's springtime. The kids would be like outside playing and having a blast and they'd come in and it would be like eight o'clock and I'll be like, great, time to get ready for bed everyone. And then they would be like, but mom, we didn't even get to have our screen time today. And they had just had an amazing, super fun time. But the fact that they had to sacrifice screen time to have that experience totally negated it for them. So we just took away screen time because it was actually making it so that we were like super busy in the evenings even though we had nothing to do it was literally like we were being super busy because we were trying to make time for screens it was completely bonkers taking the screen time away during the week made a huge difference so that's tip two you know I've got a whole little spiel about it for the teleseminar but I just want to give you guys these a couple of tips my third tip to you is like look how you behave with screens because um, first of all you need to practice what you preach don't be a hypocrite so if you're on your screens all the time your kids are learning what you're modeling for them and I'm just as guilty as the next person so don't think that this broadcast is coming from someone who's never on their phone and doesn't have a television and all that stuff that's not the case um, but so you want to think about it from the hypocritical standpoint but also so not not just what are you doing with your phone but try to tune into like how is using your phone affecting you like are you getting snippy with your kids is it um, you know making you maybe neglect certain things that you should be doing you know blah 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 like you're affected by screens too we all are so be honest with yourself you see those feelings of toxicity coming into you well of course those are going to manifest in your children so um pay attention to that just so that you can understand even more clearly like how these screens are really affecting your family so um you know, I hope that those tips are helpful for you guys because screens are such a huge part of the harmony kind of piece of mom me. I am going to actually be talking about them as a part of my um, teleseminar on Sunday. So even though S Sunday's teleseminar is all about turning your hustle into harmony, screens are part of harmony. And I got so many questions about screens that I wove that concept into my teleseminar. So I really hope you guys are going to sign up for this teleseminar. It is seriously probably one of the best things I've put together content wise ever I'm pretty proud of it actually um, if you haven't already sign up I'm gonna put a link in the comments below um, it's free all you have to do is just sit there and listen and take notes and I promise there's gonna be something in there that's gonna make you scramble for a pen um, and so just click on the link below sign up and it takes one second to register and I've got registrations pouring in right now I'm so excited and proud so um, recognize that space is limited and I'm not just saying that it's uh, the teleseminar platform has a specific number of slots that it can sustain so um, I hope I will be talking to you on Sunday and if you have specific questions about any of the stuff we talked about last week or this week about harmony about being busy about time management about screens put them you can comment below with your questions you can private message me you can email me you can post it to the Facebook group but all of the questions I get in advance those are the ones I'm going to be answering first 
on Sunday and there's going to be a live Q&A session at the very end. So um, if you get your questions into me, you're almost certainly going to have them answered, if not by the teleseminar and then at least during the Q&A. So uh, I hope that's helpful to you guys and I hope I'll be talking to you on Sunday. Have an amazing Thursday and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.